What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, James. Oh, this is part two of my final comparisons. And I'm going to let it go. I don't want to make this video long as I did the first one. But yeah, Queen A and Queen B, Aaliyah and Beyonce. Based on what I said in the first video and whatever facts that you may come up with during the time that she was alive from 94 all the way to 2001, they both released three albums each. All three of Aaliyah's albums went double platinum each, with a total number of six. Beyonce got the second album, Brightens on the Water, came out in 99. That was an eight-time platinum album. Eight times. Eight is greater than six. That one album alone was just on fire. Like I said, I like both their musics. I do. Like the style of music they, they bring to the table. It was great. But when she was in the group, I ain't gonna mention her being solo because me mentioning her going solo is gonna be it's gonna be overwhelming. She still had number one hit songs in a group. She was singing the majority of the songs of all the songs that they produced, and Beyonce was one of the producers of the music in that group. Lee Singer, one of the producers, one of the songwriters. So it's, you might as well go solo. You have a couple of number one hit songs. Aaliyah don't have any. The song Try Again was a soundtrack. If you want to use that one? That's cool. She got one. Beyonce got multiple. And one album, the third one, Survivor, went number one. Then it was a single song called Survivor. That went number one. They played that song out to death in 2001. They played that song so much. I was like, when are they going to stop playing this song? And then they turn around, come up with the song Booty Licious, and oh my gosh, they played that sucker out too. It was outrageous. So, the third album went number one. Aaliyah don't have any number one albums. She has one song that cracked top three, and three songs that cracked top five. But none of them went number one. No number one albums, no number one hit singles. Unless you want to use the song Try Again, a soundtrack of Romeo Must Die, the movie. I kept trying to tell people, I said, as far as what they accomplished, their accolades, and their success, Queen B, music-wise, outdid her. I'm, like I said, I like them both. I may be a little biased, not too much. That's what I can. Beyonce accomplished more. Your your album was an eight-time platinum. Your second album you released was eight-time platinum. Your first album was a little shaky. One-time platinum. But the second and third albums, they, they killed it. Under the watch of Aaliyah still being alive at the time. That second album came out in 99. The third album came out in 2001. May of 2001. While she was still alive. And Beyonce walked away with two Grammy Awards. For two hot singles. That went number one. Went number one all over the place. Aaliyah's biggest hit song rankings is I Care For You. That was number three. I've listened to plenty of Aaliyah's songs, and she got songs better than that. And that one went number three, the highest ranking song she ever had. I went, what? U.S. Billboard, it was ranked number three. That was on her third album, the year that she passed away. I went, she got songs better than that. One in a million is better than that. I'm just saying. And one a million didn't even crack top ten. <sighs> Alrighty. But people is gonna sit here and say that Aaliyah music wise was better than Beyonce. Like, according to the rankings, the accolades, and how many times platinum they albums went, it don't suggest that. It suggests that Queen B is better. You have number one hit songs and you have one album that went number one. Yes, she was. Yes, she was in the group. She led that group. She wrote songs in that group. She produced songs in that group. She might as well went solo, and she did. And you know what happened after that. But we ain't gonna go there. But yeah, tell me what you think. I'm done with it. Case closed. It's a wrap. It's all she wrote. Beyonce is better music wise, career wise, musically. During the time from 94 to 2001 when she was alive, Beyonce was better and it shows. She won two Grammy Awards under her watch. 
Aaliyah don't have a Grammy Award. When a Grammy Award is like winning the Oscars, but for music. It's the main event. It's a big, it's a big deal. Like, comment, share, subscribe this video. Tell me what you think. I'm done with it. It's a wrap. Case closed. It's all she wrote. It's a wrap. Comment down below. Tell me what you think.